Five enemies that attack the prophet. Every prophet will be attacked by enemies. If you're a prophet, prepare to be attacked by enemies. As a matter of fact, they are a school you must write to be able to excel and to be able to pass in life. Every prophet will be tempted by greed. You will be tempted by manipulation. You will be tempted by immorality. You will be tempted by pride. You will be tempted by evil plots. These are temptation of a prophet. They will come your way. You will be tempted by money. And that's the same as greed. If you want to have everything and you, and you don't want to share with anybody. And when I use the word prophet here, I'm not trying to say the one who prophesied. You are a prophet of God. Because in the Old Testament, they refer to uh, every man of God as a prophet. If Moses were in our generation, he was going to be an apostle of God. Because he was having governmental anointing. Your ability to pick people from one different from place to another place it's not just the prophetic you must be an apostle your ability to carry about 12 tribes and more than 1 million people you are their leader they are in subgroups and you are able to manage them that's different different churches so that's that's a governmental anointing so he would have been called an apostle of God if Jonah was in our generation he would not be called a prophet he would be called an evangelist because it only takes an evangelistic anointing to go to a city making sure that the heart cry of God becomes your heart cry. Crying the vengeance of God against that city. So the Bible says, and Jonah was proclaiming the vengeance of God against the city of Nineveh. Telling them, repent. That's the evangelistic anointing. Prophets are not so concerned about whether you repent or not. That is why most prophets in the Bible, you don't see them preaching repent. If you see them, you see that they are there for vengeance. They are sent as punishment to kings, punishment to individuals. Because they, they comes with the word of God. And there were many prophets in the Bible that don't know how to bargain. They don't know how to bargain. When they come and you misbehave, you are a dead man. You are a dead man. Because they, do, they don't know how to bargain. Very soon I will teach you the seven secrets. Alright, so there are... Five major enemies of every prophet of God. Number one enemy is Delilah. Number one enemy of every prophet or of every man of God is Delilah. You know, in this ministry, Delilah will come. And when Delilah knocks at your door and you open, that will be the end of your destiny. Delilah was a woman used by the Philistine to destroy who? Samson. Samson, the judge of Israel. In an exchange of money from the Philistine leaders, she manipulated and seduced Samson just because she wanted to destroy something. So Delilah is that person who comes with manipulation, who comes with seduction, just because she wants to destroy you and put an end to your ministry. So watch out, because on your way to your glory, on your way to manifestation, on your way to greatness, Delilah will come. And when Delilah comes, you must be guided and you must be prepared to face them. And Delilah is not a woman. A man can be Delilah. Who is Delilah? Delilah is that person who wants to sell you because of money. The spirit of Delilah and the spirit of Judas resembles. They are the same because they are ready to give you out for money. They are ready to betray you for money. They are ready to give their love for you because of money. And Delilah does not just mean a woman. Delilah can be a man. And Delilahs are in our churches these days. And if you are not careful, Delilah will destroy you. Every prophet should be aware of Delilah because on your way to glory and greatness, Delilah will appear. And once he appears, she will capture you. You may be here and you are a, uh, you are a woman of God. Equally, a man, Delilah can come just to capture your soul, just to destroy you and to abort whatever God has called you to do. So they come with sexual persuasion. They come with scheming and greed to tempt you and to destroy you. So the spirit of Delilah will cause you to commit sexual immorality. One of the killer sins in our generation is sex. Not sex, sexual sin. Because sex is not a sin. Hallelujah. And it has killed and it is still killing. It has sent many, many, many men to their grave. It has aborted a lot of destinies. It has brought an end to great ministries, to great giants. Giants and men who were supposed to stand for their generation and speak for their generation. Because because of sexual immorality, Delilah has come in a way and then have aborted and take off their lamb. Their lamb stick have been taken off. It is quenched. The lamb stick have been taken off. So there's no more power. They speak.
speak with revelation, but there's no power backing the words that is being spoken. So they speak, yet nothing is happening. They speak, yet no one is ready to listen to them. Because for your word to even go far, for people to hear your word, you need power. Because there are men that will hear your voice and they will be irritated. Some will hear your voice and they are angry. So you need power to back your voice, for your voice to travel beyond some territories in, in the realms of the spirit. There are dimensions and atmosphere your voice will never travel beyond if there's no power backing you. But Delilah will come with a sexual sin in a way that he will capture your soul through that sin. And many men souls have been captured. Many generations have been captured. It has entered the church and it's no longer with church members. It is with church pastors, prophets. That a prophet will finish sexual immorality and come to the pulpit to preach. So as a prophet on your way up, be aware of this sin because Delilah will come and he will come with sexual immorality. And let me tell you something. They are not coming because they actually want to give you sex. They are coming because they want to abort your destiny. It may look like it's a free sex, but beyond the sex, there is an intention, and that intention is to abort your destiny. And if you are not smart and careful, your destiny will be taken off very cheap. So as a prophet, you must be watchful. Close those doors and be a gatekeeper. Be alert and be careful. Watch out for her because he's coming. Delilah will look for your secret to destroy you. Delilah is interested in your secret. So he will give you sex to get your secret. Whatever Delilah will give you to get your secret, Delilah will give you. Even if it is money. I want you to know that it was not, Delilah was not interested in giving Samson sex. Even if it is money they will give you to get your secret, they will give you. I was watching a movie and uh, Pastor Evans and Pastor Amos joined me and then they were, they were teaching something about secrets and they said every kingdom is guided by a secret. Every kingdom is kept by a code of mysteries. For a kingdom to last, that kingdom must have a secret that an outsider don't know. Before your enemy will invade you, they have to first of all send a spy because they need to know the secret, the ways of the kingdom and the ways of the town. How to exit your strength and your weaknesses. When they get to know your strength and your weaknesses, that is the best time to strike. So every kingdom is guided by a secret. Your secret is your strength. Your secret is your strength. When your secret becomes public, know that you have become vulnerable. A kingdom becomes vulnerable when the secret of that kingdom becomes become um, public. So you are kept by your secret. So in all your doings, do all that you can to guard your secrets. I'm not talking about secrecies. Do you know that if men know how you eat, they will soil the food. If they know the source of your wealth, they will make sure they close that source. If they know where you are passing to get where you are getting, they will, they will close that door. Any door that men discover or your enemy discover that this is the door behind your breakthrough, that door very soon it will be closed. So that is why you should keep your, your, your door shut. It's very important. Every man has a secret. We're not talking about a, sec a secret soon. We're talking about a secret that kept you going. What is your secret? It is a mystery. Sometimes, do you know that the devil don't understand why you sin, and yet you are standing in front of God, and he sin, and he cannot stand in God's presence? He still cannot discover the secret, including angels. Angels till now don't know the, the secret behind the, the, the relationship between God and man. There are some things they don't understand. But that secret is what? The blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus. The spirit of Delilah calls your enemies when you are at your vulnerable state. Know that there are people in your life as a man of God and as a prophet of God. They are in your life and they are waiting for your vulnerable state so that they can inform people. So the spirit of Delilah calls the enemy when you are at your vulnerable state. They will say, oh come, I have gotten his secret. I have taken the hair. Now he is vulnerable. So the enemy will come just to destroy Samson. Delilah calls your enemy when you are at your vulnerable state. When you are at your vulnerable state, the place to be is in the presence of God. It's on the altar of prayer. If you are at your vulnerable state and then Delilah knows, Delilah will go and call the enemy. He will tell the enemy, he's dying. Come finish him up. That's the spirit of Delilah and it is a dangerous spirit. It comes to monitor you and inform the enemy when you are at your vulnerable state. They never loved you. They are there to monitor you. They know when you are strong and when you are vulnerable. So they only invite the enemy to jump over the wall when they discover that you are vulnerable. So be careful of the spirit. Delilah will give you up for money. The spirit of Delilah is a dangerous spirit and can give you up for money. No matter what, no matter how you beg them, no matter what you mean to them, money means everything to them than anybody. Money means everything to them than anybody. They will give you up for 
money. So this is one of the spirits you should be aware of as you prophet. Watch out for Delilah. It's an enemy you must conquer. It's a battle you must win. You should never allow her to take over. You should never allow her to win. It's a battle you must win. For you to overcome the spirit of Delilah, you must close your doors against strange women. And know that no sex is a simple sex. It goes beyond simple.